Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be uh, extending uh, our string uh, capabilities all right, and exploring what other things that Python already has for us to do a lot of uh, interesting string manipulation. All right, so what I have here is I have a string here uh, called time string uh, with a, a sentence high mark, your height is 175 cm. All right, so of course if I print this string, uh, it will come out uh, as it is. But what if uh, these two uh, parameters here, mark and the actual height 175 cm, I would want to keep changing this information, all right, for a number of people, correct? So instead of uh, rewriting uh, this entire string again and again and changing manually the names, all right, what I can do is, okay, instead of putting the actual name and the height here, I can replace this with a empty curly braces here all right and uh, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say um, print temp string all right dot format okay so what does format do uh, using format you can specify values that will be used to uh, replace these curly braces here all right so nice right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a name correct so i'm going to put a mark okay and i'm going to put a height one seven five all right so let's see what happens all right so i'm going to save it and i will run this okay so what you see is the first parameter mark has been used to replace the first curly braces and the second parameter 175 has been used to replace the empty space in the second curly braces so the curly braces is just a placeholder all right to uh, be replaced with the value that is specified when you call the dot format okay now uh, what if i want to extend this a bit more all right and uh, of course i can say your height is one uh, uh cm and your weight is okay so we move it here and your weight is um kilogram something kilograms here all right so of course, uh, of course over here i will need to specify three parameters here 75 kilos for example okay or maybe i'll just put it as uh, 69 here okay now uh, let me save it and uh, run it over here so you can see the entire string the First placeholder is replaced with mark, second one with 175, and the third one with 69. All right. Now, uh, obviously, as more and more parameters are added, you may get uh, confused with the positioning of the uh, replacement parameters in the dot format uh, uh, parameter string. So, what we can do is we can actually, all right, uh, replace or put in a name for each of these placeholders okay so for example here instead of just leaving it as a empty curly brace i can put it as name all right height and weight okay so over here what i can do is i can say that name equals to mark height equals to 175 and weight equals to 69 all right now let me run this again okay so you see the same printout and you may think that hey not much of a difference right but there is a significant difference because right now the ordering is not important up till uh, a while ago the ordering was important that means the first parameter here had to coincide with the first curly braces second parameter second one and third one with the third curly braces all right Right now, the order does not matter. That means if I were to take this weight parameter here and I put it in front, okay, and I shift it around like this, okay, where the weight is specified first, followed by the name and then the height, all right. If I were to run it, you will see that it still prints out correctly, okay, because right now it is not based on the position of the parameters in the format, but by the assignment to the name that matches the uh, 
uh, name specified in the curly braces. All right. You can, of course, uh, instead of putting it over here directly in the dot format uh, parameter list, you can also specify them as variables. All right. So I can say uh, name one equals to John. Okay. Height one equals to one eight nine. Okay, and uh, weight 1 equals to 65. Okay, uh, here, okay. Now, I can do the same thing now. Print dot, okay, let me uh, just copy this here. Alright, but now what I'm going to do is, instead of specifying the parameters directly in the dot format uh, parameter list, I'm going to specify them based on the variables that I've declared here. So I'm going to put weight 1 here. All right, here I'm going to put name 1, and here I'm going to put height 1. Okay, so let's uh, run this. Let me save and run it here. All right, so you can see that now what has happened is I have been able to uh, assign uh, strings to variables and specify those variables inside the dot format uh, operator list here. Alright, so you can see that within the dot format, I have three parameters, the weight, name, and height. All right? And I can assign them to direct values while I am executing the uh, print statement, or I can assign them to variables that have already been allocated with strings. Alright, so uh, this video basically shows you a very interesting way of uh, creating a template string and yet uh, replacing certain parts of the string with variables or with information that keeps changing. Okay, and this is actually very, very useful for us uh, when we are going to be dealing with a lot of data, all right, and you want to print them out, okay, in a loop, okay, which we will be actually doing uh, very soon. Okay, so this is a very, very important technique. Okay, so, so please do try it out and, and see uh, and make sure that you understand how this whole uh, dot format uh, operator works. All right. Thank you. Bye.